Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Ray and these are the Beats Flex. I pair of wireless headphones that are $50 and they do behave like AirPods because they have the W1 chip. Watch to the end because later I will tell you if these are a good buy or not. Okay, so to start the video off, let's talk about the unboxing. So once you get it out of the box, this is all you get. You get the headphones, obviously, you get your charger and you get your paperwork. Even though I didn't show the paperwork in this video, they are in the box. Also, there's extra ear tips in there. If the one that the headphones bring don't fit you, then there's more in there. You just use whatever you feel more comfortable with. Okay, so like you guys saw at the beginning of the video, it's straight out of the box, you can actually pair the flex to a phone, like you would do with an AirPods. So literally, make sure you hit the power button on the right ear side, turn them on, and they should automatically pop up on your iOS device for you to connect with them. As soon as you connect with them, you do get that custom icon on iOS, just like you will get with your AirPods. When you take a look around the device, you're gonna see some on device control. So you're gonna see a volume rocker, a play button, and a power button, which is kind of interesting if you ask me, three buttons on some Apple headphones, they usually go for the more minimal look, but I guess they were aiming for the more traditional headphone users when it comes to this. And then right next to the play button, there's actually a microphone that Apple claims it has room reduction capabilities. This is something that I wanna put to the test, haven't tested that yet, but we'll see in the future. Beats Flex, even though they're $50, when it comes to the design, they're not bad at all. I know we're on the true wireless era, but there's still a market out there for people who don't mind having the cable, and I think this is really good. And to be honest, I feel like most of the people out there don't mind having a cable as long as the user experience is really good. And even though the Beast Flex are not built with the best materials, they don't feel cheap or like they're gonna break right away. I mean, overall, they feel really good to wear and pretty comfortable. The Beast Flex uses magnetized earbuds to make sure the earbuds are not dangling around your neck. Another thing that it does is that it uses it to pause and play your music. So when they are together, your music pauses. And if you want your music to play it again, you just separate them and you're good to go. I like what they did, the fact that you put them together and your music stops, I think it's really cool. But this is my own personal opinion. I think it's better what they did with the AirPods. I wish they would have done the same with these, where if you take them off your ear, then the music completely stops. But I mean, because of the price, we can't really complain. Now, there are people out there who do like the feel of the standard AirPods, including myself, I'm one of them. But I'm gonna be honest, the Beats Flex, with the silicone tape, I think it's a lot more comfortable and I don't have that fear that they're gonna fall off my ear. They, this one do stay in your ear, super good, they don't fall out. I did go to the gym, I took them to the gym, I ran, lifted weights and flexed them to my friends, you know, because Beach Flex, Flex them. <laughs> That's not gonna go into the video. Something that I think Apple did a good job in when it comes to the Beach Flex is the fact that they implemented the Type-C charging in it, which is a big win for Android users. And now Android users are gonna be looking at these headphones a lot more because they don't have to go out and spend money on a lightning cable. You can just use your own Type-C cable and boom, you can charge your headphones. Another thing too, with Type-C, it charges faster. Apple claims that with a 10 minute charge, you get 1.5 hours of playback audio, which is crazy. And overall, you get up to 12 hours on a full charge, which is insane. I tested this they last the whole day for me it is crazy so when it comes to battery life this is by far one of the best features on the beast flex so if you're someone who prioritizes or relies on battery life then this is definitely the bread to get for the 15 dollars asking price another nice feature that you get with the beast flex is share audio due to the w1 chip it allows you to share audio with any other apple airpods or any other beats with that w1 or h1 chip in it which is really good let's say if you have a kid wife or girlfriend and you want to give them a pair and you want to watch movies together you can actually listen to the same audio and control the audio of the other pair which is kind of nice and now let's talk about the audio quality which is probably why most of you guys are here for and to be honest for the 15 dollars asking price this doesn't sound that good the listening experience is not that good they don't get very loud they lack bass the mids and highs are okay and there's a lot of distortion when you put the volume up but still that's beats beats are not really known for the great sound quality but i'm gonna tell you guys exactly why for a lot of people these things don't even matter well the beats flex offer great body life and they are super comfortable it's a little bit sad to see that the worst thing about these headphones is the audio quality but that airpod like functionality will definitely have a lot of people drawn to these 
the fact that you can easily switch in between devices you just gotta turn them on and you're connected is something that you're not gonna find anywhere else for the 50 dollars asking price that seamless connectivity and the ease of use can in a lot of ways make up for what's lacking on the audio quality department now you can easily give this to a family member or what would you want to give a decent pair of headphones to for 50 dollars and you don't have to show them how to use them like i said you just run them on and you're connected this type of functionality and ease of use is something that a lot of people want nowadays and you better believe it that a lot of people will forget about the audio quality because of this functionality there are hundreds of headphones for under 50 dollars that sound way better than the beats flex but there's no other headphone for under 50 dollars that will give you the same functionality and the same ease of use as the beats flex even though they don't sound that good so if you want the airpods experience for a way lower price and you don't mind the low sound quality then this is definitely the price to get let me know how you feel down in the comments do you like them do you not like them and this is everything that i have for you guys today my name is ray and see you guys in another video peace out